Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and if you haven't been living under a Seiko rock, you will know that uh, somewhere, I think it was last week, depends on when you're going to watch this, uh, last week I released the new Seiko 5s, the bezel list Seiko 5s uh, in the store. Uh, they're continual sellouts, they do great, so I figured, I know the mod questions, well, a lot of them already started, uh, and they're going to keep rolling, so I'm going to try to answer the mod questions today, what fits, what doesn't fit. Uh, and what might be on the way for everything. So it'll be a, a, probably a pretty fast video. I am still wearing my Islander white dial. A lot of people are asking when these are coming. Uh, they're coming in July. Uh, so you'll see those, um, but it's gonna have the like old blue bezel. I sell the two-tone bezel, the gray and the blue, as an extra. I am wearing my Flightmaster with the mesh bracelet. I also have a new piece of wrist jewelry this rope bracelet uh, that was a Father's Day present it has all my three kids' names on it. So finally, a lot of people ask what the, what the deal with this old string bracelet is. Uh, these I got at like a uh, indoor golf place with all my all three of my children, um, and eventually I wear them all the time, and they just kind of <laughs> they're like string atoms holding hands, and eventually they just disintegrate and fall apart. So hopefully this will be a little more permanent. Another thing I get, got for Father's Day, I posted on Instagram, I think there's some confusion on what I was posting. Uh, I got cupcakes with images of some really cool watches on them. Uh, so I'll put a picture right here. Uh, you can check them out, very tasty. Uh, and um, that's it, let's uh, check out these uh, Seiko 5 mods. So this is one of those new Seiko 5s. This is model number uh, SRPE60. Uh, this is a two-tone guy. I'm only showing you this one uh, because I took one of them apart uh, to you know check all the parts for, uh, I guess, transplantability from other models. This is what it looked like beforehand. Um, what I'll do is I'll just try to go over each part you know fairly quickly and uh, see what we can rustle up. So we'll start with the uh, inside the dial and the hands. Uh, the hands. So these are damaged SKX hands that I had kicking around. Um, and I, I showed this photo on Instagram. Uh, they work well. They work fine, actually. The length is appropriate. Uh, it is a 4 36 movement. So actually, that's going to hit the minute hand because the minute hand's bent. Uh, I, they do work fine because it's a 4 36 so the pivot is the right size. Uh, they, they fit right on. Uh, and it works well. Uh, the dial, the dial is 20 and a half millimeters in diameter, uh, and again fit to a 436. So uh, I get an SKX replacement dial that is set for crown at four o'clock uh, will work fine as well as your day and date wheels. Okay. Getting on to the bracelet. So now it's time for a bit of bad news, guys. Uh, this bracelet that was on the case is fairly unique. It's got the hollow end links, sure. I have tried basically every strap code 20 millimeter bracelet and nothing really fits well. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, something will have to be produced um, either by them or I will tell you that I am going to make a uh, J style bracelet for this watch. Um, for the, Probably an all stainless, I don't know if I'm gonna do two tone, we'll see. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna make one that's gonna look and integrate perfectly because I do not know when strap code is going to get around to doing it. Uh, moving on, so chapter rings. The chapter rings are actually designed a little bit differently. Besides being a different size than the SKX, here's an SKX one. Okay, they actually have nubs on the bottom at the 12 and the 6 as opposed to the SKX which just had a little tab at the 12. And those fit into two dots in the case, one at the 12 one at the six, so that when it lays down, uh, you know, usually you rotate it, I probably can't do it with gloves, and it will sit down and snap into place. Uh, the crystal, which is already gone from here, is a larger than an SKX crystal in diameter, but thinner in the thickness dimension, so I will produce both a flat and probably double domed sapphire crystal for these guys uh, for your upgrades. Uh, crowns, yeah, your crown, it's a push-pull, so you can't use an SKX or a 436 conversion crown. You do need something that's, you know, basically anything I would say for the 5KX divers uh, would work fine. Uh, let's see, case backs. I don't know, some people sometimes like to change out the case backs. Uh, so this is the, uh, this, the case back from this watch. The, 
I have an Islander case back, which is the same size as an 007. It does screw in, but I don't think I can recommend it because the penetration into the case is deeper on the 007 replacement backs and the gasket size is also thinner in diameter owing to only needing 100 meters of water resistance i'm sure uh, on the new dresses dress watches so i would say case backs are not going to be compatible so uh so far we have and this might be it actually bracelet not compatible you're going to need to get uh an aftermarket one is going to have to be produced will the skx 013 stock jangly jubilee bracelet fit um i'm not sure maybe i'll, I'll update the video if i try that uh, the crystal one's gonna have to be produced uh, the hands will fit and a dial replacements will fit you, you guys you know since you i'm gonna make chapter rings also so as i say you guys that watch this and want the mods tell me what kind of chapter rings do you want do you want to see a polished one do you want to see something with markings on it um you know what kind of uh, what kind of design design parts do you want to see? And oh, on hands, I was thinking. Imagine snowflake hands on these guys. You know where I'm going, right? Okay, so I had an SKX 013 bracelet. Uh, not exactly handy, but I had one in the junk bin, and I tried, and it doesn't. F well, it kind of fits, but it won't. The spring pins won't go in the holes because these holes are super small, uh, and if you use a small diameter spring pin. It's going to get more lanky and jostly because the fit depends on the thickness of the spring bar between the end link and the last link in the chain. So uh, I think here it's going to be a custom bracelet solution. It's the best way to go. And then I said, you know what? This, these bezels, these are obviously removable. I mean, if I was Seiko, you make one case and, well, I might have a watch coming out like this. Uh, you make one case and then you've got the bezel that goes on, you can, use a, you can use a steel one, a black one, a gold one, whatever. What about bezels? Would you guys want to see new bezels? Now, the only thing with these bezels is that the, ga the, gas the gasket, well, there's a gasket. The crystal sits in this bezel, so it's not as, so it's not as simple as snapping your bezel on and off uh, because there is a, another gasket here uh, when it fits into the case, again, to maintain uh, water tightness. Um, but would you like to see different bezel options? How about a fluted bezel? What do you think of that? And that would be pretty cool. Uh, but again, it would require you to also take care of the crystal uh, while you're in there. Um, I got some ideas already floating in my head. So let me know what you want to see there as well. I, I guess that's about it. Um, just looking around my, my, my mess of parts here. Uh, so that's about it. Yeah, this has been Mark from LongRunWatch.com talking about some replacement parts for the uh, new Seiko 5s. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.